All right, I'm back here after the Junior Boys NASA final. Uh, tough one, coach. Fora finds himself on the losing end of a 52-40 game. Uh, not without a fight, though. We watched you guys all year. Uh, it was a pleasure to watch you guys talk about the game and what you guys, what you told your team after the game. Well, you know, I'm proud of the boys. I mean, our goal was to win, obviously. Uh, but you know what? Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Yeah. I mean, they weren't falling for us easy. We had to work for every bucket we got today. But I told the boys, go reflect on the loss. I mean, losing is learning, right? Yeah. Losing is losing is going to put you in a place where you can be prepared in games like this to do something different. So. Yeah, when there's an offset berth on the line in the next year or two, a lot of these kids are going to move up. That's really the next step, right? Sometimes you use this as motivation. Um, the three ball from Will Church and Hunter uh, La La Lapier early, like in that first half, was phenomenal. I, I saw you. I looked over at you a couple times, and you said. Hey, that's that's a tough shot. You know, congratulations on making it, right? Yeah. Well, we talked about you know the home run ball and how that team is going to try and win with that home run ball, and we and we said, you know what? If they win with that, good on them. Yeah. And, but we're going to try and take that away. And I thought our defenders were in their face. They made good shots. That's yeah. how you win championships. That's right. Too. That's right. You guys gave them a good fight. Yeah. Uh, Marquis Strawbridge and your son Nathan Hyam, big contributors for you guys all year. Nathan maybe not so much, but uh, Shiloh for the Knights. Really found a way to neutralize Strawbridge. Um, must have been frustrating to kind of see that out there and as it play out. Well, I think it's the grade 10 versus the grade 9. So anybody that's coached junior boys knows yeah. that there's a significant difference between a grade 9 mentality and a grade 10 mentality. And I think it showed tonight. Yeah, their coach said that he wanted that matchup. And I, I think that you're right, that one year difference, right? It's huge. Yeah. Size, athleticism, yeah, right? The mental toughness, all those things, right? Exactly. Um, you couldn't really get rolling in the quarter court, whether it's a ball screen action or even simple rotations. What do you think the biggest hurdle was for you guys tonight to really get into the flow of your offense? Uh, I think our spacing suffered a bit. I think, again, we had, you know, there's, we're not, they were a little bit bigger than we were in terms of muscle. There was all great tens out there, and I found we got pushed around a little bit. Maybe we weren't used to physicality, maybe not having a lot of games like that here. The Sioux hurt us a little bit today. But, you know, overall, I think, I just think that we, we probably could have did a better job. Like, I'm not happy with how our offense went. We missed a lot of easy layups. If you look back at the first half, I think we missed about 10, 15 layups. Yeah. Layups. You can't miss those to win. Yeah. It, we, Coach uh, bon, Tony Bonifero was talking about it during the game. Free throws was also a big piece, right? I think you guys finished 8 for 18. Leaving points on the board is always tough. Yep. It is. It's always tough. Yeah. Coach, it's been a pleasure to watch you guys all season. Uh, best of luck in the offseason, and I know we'll see you back stronger and better next year. Congratulations yeah. on a great Thank season. You. Thanks Thank a lot you. for your time.